welcome back guys so this is our third tutorial and here I will explain you the basic changes we require to do to change in order to change the application uh, strings so uh, what we have to do once the application will sync you will get this structure you have to click on app you have to click on res inside this that is resource you can go to values and inside values you can click on strings so you can see all the strings over here but I, I'll I'll tell you one thing that is most most important part if you change anything over here then the language pack right uh, suppose you are changing the language from English to French that time if it will not match with the exist existing language pack in the server that time you even if you will change it to French or Japanese or any other language it will only show uh, so uh, it will only show you the English language English language so English uh, uh, so in order to avoid that what you have to do you have to change some suppose uh, this is property right you, you want to change this to something others suppose property change to store so here you have to change to a store and then you have to go to your language pack that is installed in your server and there you have in language pack you have to change this to change the change the string or you can add the key like like a store and then the conversion then only it will work because each and every string inside the app is language pack driven once you will change the uh, language it will automatically change to the respective language the whole application will change so this is about the string basic strings apart from that uh, I will explain you about basic uh, changes in our constants file constants where we do have mentioned our uh, base uh, URL that is our server address and API details so for that what you have to do you have to click on uh, I'll reset the structure so uh, once you will sync it will be uh, you will see this structure you can click on app you can go to Java and the first folder which contain the functionality then you have to go to utils folder that is package so here you can see app constant in app constant you can see the base url here you have to change right now it, it is showing adwordwide.com the demo is uh, we do have a demo app that is based on classified violence.com so this is just a, another demo trial so uh, in order to tell you how you have to change so once once you you will get the project it will come like you will get something like this you can comment or you can delete that part or you can update that part and you can give your ser your own server address apart from that i think everything in your project will be same you don't have to change any path it will or uh, it will take the data from the these path only only the base url needs to be changed apart from that we do have couple of keys that we are using for our application uh, I will highly recommend you to not to change any other string if you'll change any other string it will start to reflect in your application or and your application will start to behave in an appropriate manner so do not change anything only you have to come over here you have to go to base URL. you have to change this base URL to your existing existing server for example you can see over here that is uh, base url equal to adwordwide.com so this is about string and app constant i'll come up with the next tutorial very soon and uh, thanks for watching this tutorial thank you